What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with a little bit of Destiny commentary. And I'm going to talk about a little alarming article I was reading on GameSpot. I'll link to it down below. That uh, has some alarming news for those of you who may still be playing Destiny with regards to DLC and microtransactions and things like that. I also just wanted to take a minute to say that I think that people, most of the Destiny community, I swear are just at this point, I just have to call them sheep uh, because there's so many terrible things that have come out about this game in the last couple of weeks and months. First of all, you know, you had the microtransactions and all that other stuff. Um, but PlayStation Store recently released some of their figures and the highest selling items they have on PlayStation Store are the Taken King DLC and the Destiny Silver packages. So everybody has been buying these silver packages uh, to be able to buy the stupid dance emotes and things. And also, Activision in its earnings report announced that Destiny actually has increased its player base by over 5 million people. So, uh, that's one of the reasons I was talking about in a couple other videos, how unfortunately, no matter how much we sort of rail against Destiny and talk, you know, and be critical about it and give Bungie a lot of, uh, a lot of crap about the bad things they do in the game... Nothing is ever going to change with this game because people just continue to jump on the bandwagon. People continue to play this game. People continue to reinforce Activision's bad business practices. And that's one of the reasons sometimes I get disillusioned making these videos because it just doesn't feel like it's ever going to make any changes. It's ever going to help anything. Now, myself personally, I have not been playing much Destiny at all. Uh, the footage I've been using in the, most of these videos is older gameplay. Uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Star Wars Old Republic, the new expansion came out, and a lot of Dragon Age Inquisition, as I've mentioned in other videos. You know, I pop on Destiny for maybe 30 to 40 minutes to play some PvP every once in a while, but uh, really not too interested in playing the game much anymore. So this article that uh, GameSpot came out with today, uh, they basically were talking to Activision's publishing CEO, Eric Hirschberg, and they have now said that... Um, Destiny microtransactions and paid expansions can coexist within the game of Destiny. And now this is from Activision. This is not from Bungie. Uh, and I found this interesting because a couple weeks ago, obviously, when they brought out the microtransactions, uh, they said that they were going to be using these to support free DLC uh, for people who play Destiny. So basically, it was going to work like you know people would buy the you know, the people who would buy the emotes and the money they would make from the emotes and sales at the, the trading company would go towards Bungie creating new content that they would put out into the game. Uh, sort of like an MMO almost, where they'd be constantly updating the game with new patches, putting in new story content, putting in new PV PvP maps and things like that. At least that's what everyone assumed. Uh, Kotaku did that article. Uh, but as I mentioned when I talked about that a few weeks ago, I said, you know what? Bungie never confirmed that, number one. I said, number two, this is Activision. And people still don't seem to understand that Bungie, while they are, you know, making the game and doing things for the game, they don't actually have control over their own game. Activision, per the contract they have with Bungie, has final say on everything that happens with Destiny. Bungie can do all they want. They can say, we want to put this content in, we want to do this and that. But as the Marty O'Donnell lawsuit showed us, as the Kotaku article recently showing us all the chopped up cut content from Destiny... Activision can basically just say, shut up Bungie, we're taking this content and we're making it paid DLC. We don't care what you say. That's why every time Luke Smith gets up there and starts running his mouth about this and that, I always laugh because people just buy into it verbatim. And I'm like, Luke Smith can talk all he wants. Mark knows where he can talk all he wants. Deej can run his mouth all he wants. They don't have any say in what actually happens with Destiny. They just work on the game. Activision basically gets to tell them, jump, and then they say how high. So now... We have this coming out now. Activision is talking about how um, they're not going to have one or the other in terms of microtransactions and, or paid expansions. They're now going to have both. At least that is what they are. Um, that is what they are hoping for. <laughs> and uh, uh, Hershberg basically goes on and he says, you know, we've had full years of expansions. The game has been received so well. It's been selling quite well. Uh, they've introduced smaller in-game purchases, and their people are buying those up like hotcakes. So, um, yeah. So this is really, really, uh, really not really interesting because I kind of knew this was going to happen. I've been warning people about this for a long time. And, you know, as long as Activision is on, on board with Destiny, you're never going to get a full experience with this game. It's always going to be this very watered down, 
you know, um, kind of lackluster experience because quite honestly, the people, the majority of the people that play this game, I don't think even care anymore. I think it's a lot of, as I've said a lot of times, I think the popular, I'd love to see the demographics on the Destiny gaming population because I think so many people who play this game are, are very young and just don't know any better. They don't know what a really good video game is. They don't know what a complete full experience is. Uh, they really are just buying everything that Activision says, uh, just eating it up. And that's why I think, like I said earlier in the video, that I just think the Destiny community, for the most part, are just a bunch of sheep. They just go along with whatever, and, and they don't care if Activision milks them for all their money. Because it's probably their parents' money. They're probably not really spending their own money on this game. But I think if you're an educated gamer, if you're an older gamer who appreciates better content and a full game experience, uh, Destiny is definitely never going to make it uh, to that point, I don't think. And I don't have any hope uh, for Destiny 2. I, I see a lot of people saying, well, Bungie's going to fix it all in Destiny 2. Well, like I said, as long as Activision is at the helm of the game, um, why would you think it's going to change? If you're an educated gamer, you, you probably know it's not going to change. And we've already seen that they've cut content out of uh, even the Taken King to move to Destiny 2. So obviously the, the same business model is going to be followed when they move on to Destiny 2. But anyways, guys, we'd love to hear your comments on this. I think this is absolutely um, just ridiculous. You know, it just shows further how greedy Activision is and how they're just going to continue to try to milk gamers on Destiny uh, for as much as they possibly can. So like I said, I'll link that article down below about the microtransactions and paid DLC still being in the game. So you guys can go give it a, give it a look. There's really not a whole lot of news in it, but um, like I said, it's pretty clear to see the writing on the wall, especially with Activision. Um, you know, you can't really expect too much else from them. So... That's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will see you again next time.